there is tag bits information is there as well as one one bit uh, information that is v is there this v is uh, validity bit means what if the v bit is one that means the tag information means the particular the, the whatever the uh, in block information is there that is valid if v bit is zero if the block means if the cache line contain a block still the uh, return value will be zero as the validity bit v is zero okay so validity bit uh, one means the block information present in that cache line is valid validity bit zero means block information present in that cache line is invalid now here you see that first from this 32 bit address 12 bit index will be used to identify the specific cache line so here this cache line is identified so how many cache line is there 4k cache line is there so 4k cache line means 4096 cache line is there okay and in each cache line you can store a single block and single block co uh, contain uh, four word each word size is 32 bits now after you determine the cache line then from the cache line you retrieve the tag information uh, tag information associated with that particular block then you compare this 18 bit tag with the 18 bit tag bits present in the memory address so here you see that this equal to sign this equal to sign is for comparison that you are comparing the 18 bit tag information present in that cache line with the 18 bit tag information present in the 32 bit address then if this comparison is successful and you get one then you do and operation with uh, valid bit means what if the valid bit is zero although the tag information is there block uh, line is populated with some block and the tag information is there and it is equal but still the valid bit is zero then the it will miss means what the output of and will be zero that means miss now here if the output of and is one that means hit and when it the particular output of one is hit then here you are going to enable this mask here you see this mask have there is four word so all this four word is uh, taken as a input to this particular marks uh, each cache line means each cache line have four words so all these four word is taken as an input to this cache line now among this uh, four word which word will be taken as a data if everything is fine everything is fine means you identify the line using the index then you compare the tag present in that line with the tag bits present in the address and you find that cache hit happen means the block is present in that line now in that line four word is there which word you are going to take that depend upon the byte offset means this two bit means the block offset now here you see that this block offset a byte offset will be used for the selection line of the marks so here uh, this marks is 4 to 1 marks there is two selection line that selection line will be determined that among these four words which one will be taken as a output
so then that will be the data that data you are going to uh, on which you are going to work upon now if this line line will be in here in the memory address line information it will be it will point out to a particular line so here how many possible line is there 4096 so 4096 log 2 of 4096 is giving the index length that is 12 that is the 12 bit index address so here index will going to point out a line next thing is that the tag present in that line is equal to the tag present in the memory address or not then also again next thing is that if it is equal then the valid bit is 0 or 1 if it is 1 then the heat occur and then you are going to uh, retrieve the particular word from the tag and if this tag is not equal then miss occur then this retrieve part will not happen then you have to then you have to go to the main memory and identify that particular block using the tag plus index and then copy that block from main memory to cache now which cache line will be used means here which cache line will be used for that block that is depend upon that which particular cache line that block belongs to which particular cache line means what that here each and every block say for example here i say that if there is 100 block and 20 cache line then among these 100 block 5 block is mapped to a single cache line so that thing will be determined that block will be stored in which cache line in the cache memory so up to this if you have any question you can ask okay now here uh, this compare means normally we have seen we have used uh, mask we have used and get uh, this storing the uh, we are not going to work upon this 32 bit kind of thing we are going to work upon a very small memory address small data bit even we are going to work upon a particular block uh, means block means where each block have only one word okay means there is no multi word concept we are going to use work upon okay. now here this compare this equal to this can be implemented by this circuit here you see that compare when you are comparing the tag information tag bits information present in the uh, cache line with the tag bits information present in the memory address so you are going to do bit by bit comparison and that bit by bit comparison will be done by zor and all the zor output will be given to a nor so obviously if all the bits are equal for both tag information present in line and tag information present in memory address then this nor will going to return you one otherwise zero but uh, here we are going to use a module one bit compare uh, comparator now what is the objective first 
there is two assignment in the google classroom you can see you, you can check that there is two assignment for group 2 one assignment is understanding the behavior of direct map cache from working module working module means the direct map cache is there as a module in the component where you just only have to set the correct input with proper bit switch and check the output are proper in the output terminal with bit display in case of second assignment direct cache with one word and four bit memory address and two bit data without replacement policy means what here we are not going to use any replacement policy uh, there is several block replacement policy like fifo alru those replacement policy we are not going to use so four bit memory address and two bit data and here with direct cache with one word direct cache with one word bits that each block means each cache line can store a uh, single word only okay so here this say for this example each line say l0 can store four word as the block size is four but here in this assignment you are going to take that the block size is uh, means each block will going to store one word and each word have two bit and third here memory address is four bit so before we are going to see that let me show you a uh, uh, calculation that if main memory specification is 32 bit and the number of bits present in main memory word is 32 bit then what will be the number of bits for tag number of bits for index and number of bits for block offset so here one another thing is also another information is also provided means required otherwise you can't determine the number of bits for tag index and block offset that is how many cache line is there so here the number of cache line is 4k that is 4096 so first 32 bit memory address so how many words you can store here you have seen in the RAM that two address line, two address line means what? Four word you can store two to the power uh, two address line. That means two to the power two, four. So here 32 bit memory address means address line is 32 bit. So here you can store two to the power 32. Then you are going to get this figure 4294967296 now here in each uh, how many uh, bits are there in each block 128 bit that means and uh, each word is 32 bit so that means each block uh, have four word so how many blocks in the main memory that 429496 mean number of words you can store in the memory divided by four then you are going to get this number of block in the main memory that is one zero seven three seven four one eight two three now number of bits in tag now tag bits 
is determined by log to n by m. m is number of cache line and n is number of blocks in the main memory. So here n by m that will going to give us for our case it will going to give us this particular figure 262144 and log 2 of that will going to determine this 18 bit that means 18 bit when the 32 bit main ad memory address and the 32 bit word size and the 4k cache line then the tag bits is 18 and then number of uh, number of bits for index that is 12 and number of bits for block offset that is 2 means okay one thing you can do this log of this uh, big figure is uh, means you don't have to need to do that you start the particular bit calculation from block offset so here how many words are there in a block four what is there so number of bits to identify number of bits uh, required to identify each word in a block that is log two of four that is two how many cache line is there four zero nine six so number of bits required to identify each and every cache line uh, that is 12 so here 32 minus 12 plus 2 that is 18 so from that you are going to get the tag also you don't have to that do the calculation but this calculation is required if you may have face seen some problem in semester that this number of tag bits and number of bits present in tag index and block Now here in the component drawer, in the other circuit category, sorry, other component, there is direct map cache module is there. So here for this first assignment, understanding the behavior of direct map cache from working module, let me show you that particular We uh, direct map cache module here. This one is the direct map cache module. So here, this direct map cache module. If if I see the pin diagram, okay. All uh, here regarding the direct map cache module uh, in the procedure page of. Uh, direct map cache design experiment of virtual lab you are going to get this uh, this uh, circuit is applicable for the uh, second component level design uh, now you are going to get this pin information that which pin of that particular direct map the pin information is there in the pin configuration is also pin configuration as well as it is present in the uh, procedure page of direct map cache experiment now here the all the upper terminals are input and all the lower terminals are output so here in the when you are using the direct map cache module there is several uh, pins have several role so from this pin configuration you get idea but detail for detail you please refer to the procedure page uh, of this direct map cache experiment and how to check that you are going to get from the objective page now in the objective page you will see 
okay here one thing is important that this direct map cache is a uh, 4 bit memory address and 2 bit data 2 bit data means uh, the watt size is 2 as well as block size is also 2 4 bit memory address among this 4 bit memory address 2 bit for tag and 2 bit for line or index so yet in the procedure page we will you will see that this uh, circuit is applicable for the memory module uh, sorry huh, direct map cache module as well as the component level uh, component level circuit so here this 4 bit memory address 2 bit set in which particular cache line and 2 bit tag. Now, first, what we know here there is no block offset. Why there is no block offset? Because here the 2 bit data, uh, 2 bit data form a word, and here each block have only one word. So, there is no block offset. Now, what is the uh, sequence? Sequence is at first you are going to check the set information, set bits. You go to that particular. So here, how many uh, set are there? And the how many line are there? Four line zero 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 one one zero one one. So from the set bits, uh, you can determine that which line. Then in that line, the tag information will be there then you compare that tag information with the tag information present in the memory address if the comparison is uh, one and the valid bit is also one then there is a hit and then you are going to if that is it then you are going to read the data from the from the particular line Now here in the objective part, you will, so here the number of tag bits is 2, number of uh, bits in set component of address that is 2 and number of bits in block component that is 0, means we are not taking the block offset, we are taking that the, we are as, uh, taking that the block size and the watt size are same, means 2 bit. So here first, we have to load the data. So here, when you are doing the write, the modules, these bits combination should be set that S selection. So here, S equal to one means you are doing, you are writing something in the cache. S equal to zero, you are doing the cache mapping means you are doing the checking and you know that read write a means read write a means uh, read write for address part read write d read write for data part and d uh, then this is for that when we are doing the write then in the cache module then bit should be one and when we are doing the mapping means checking then then bit will be zero so here global initialization says that a is equal to 1 and read write of a and d will be 0 so we know that when the bit is 0 read write bit is 0 that means write so that's why it is 0 and here you are doing the write means we are populating the cache with some data so then is 1 then we then we also set the uh, data bits, tag bits, validity bit, and the load address also. So here in the module you can see uh, that starting from bit number 17, the first, these two are data, then these two are tag, and these two are V. Uh, this V information is there. 
that is validity bit. So uh, here, these five bits are actually nothing but this one row data two bit tag two bit one validity bit then here after validity there is bit number 22 that is unused you don't require to use that uh, then this den bit so den bit means when you are doing the write then it should be uh, one when you are doing the read it should be uh, zero so here when you are doing the write then among this four cache line to which particular cache line you want to write that means at that time this address part is not important because we are not doing checking we are doing writing so we are you have to set means which set in which set you are going to write that you have to specify in the set bits means four set is there then the read write d means data means this input you are writing if it is one then you are going to read in case of write you have to kept it zero here then should be kept one and here when you are doing the write okay and here the read write a means here now you are uh, the memory address so here four bit memory address uh, starting from this side lsb to msb so here one zero for the tag and zero r for the set so here you see that we have set the tag bits for uh, tag bits one zero and the uh, at which set zero one set so obviously the matching should be done so for right purpose we have to set the select one okay. so if i simulate now you see the all the zero so all the zero in output here the pin number 15 and 16 is for uh, the uh, it is showing the output means after read whatever the data is present in the output line uh, that is shown in the bit display which is connected to the pin number 15 and 16 so here the f0 is 16 and f1 is 15 and here this he uh, pin number 14 is for heat and miss if the heat happen then it will be one if miss then it will be zero so here we have done the right now we have to check that the data we are looking for in the cache what data we are looking for the memory address is 1001 so two tag bit one zero two set bit zero one so then do the cache mapping we have to make the select bit zero read write address now you have to now you are going to do the read so read write address uh, one read write data one and then bit zero so if you simulate you will get one means what the data one one is present at which set zero one set and the zero one set and that is available because the tag bit is also one zero there and it's hit happen and the data is one one now for component level design you have to use 
you can use the multiplexer and the decoder with the memory elements so memory elements means what here you see that how many memory elements is required each row should have four single bit ram because here each row have the information validity bit tag information and the data so the circuit for the second assignment that is direct cache with one word, four bit memory address, two bit data. This working module is also uh, four bit memory address here, memory address is four bit and two bit data. Here the input is two bit. The component level circuit will also have that and it will be look like this so here i haven't used the label uh, but here the overall idea is that each and every row have those information that v for validity bit two ram two uh, ram cell for tag bit two ram cell for data input and here we are using the decoder for uh, identifying the particular uh, set means particular cache line and here the four bit uh, here i have used four co one bit comparator you can use four bit comparator module that is also present in that component row and uh, this one bit ram is uh, one bit ram is there for storing the address so you complete these two circuit and let me know and if you have any question you can ask now
Okay, all of you, please respond to the roll call. Prashanna Singh. Present, sir. Arnav Chatterjee. Yes, sir. Present. Ayush Bhumik. Actually, late, late ho is it? Shwadeep Ghosh. Present, sir. Mayuk Dash. Present, sir. Okshita Shakshi. Okshita Shakshi. Ayush Dash. Present, sir. Tutiti Ganguly. Yes, sir. Shankaran Choudhury. Ishanu Nandi. Present, sir. Ayush Chakravarti. Devasita Banerjee. Present, sir. Sourojit Banerjee. Present, sir. Sushit Mandol. Deepika Ganguly. Sagar Kumar Singh. Present, sir. Apsar Alam. Present, sir. Akash Das. Present, sir. Milesh Patel. Yes, sir. Rahul Goel. Rahul Goel. Abhishek De. Present, sir. Arjo Paul. Present, sir. Neha Chatterjee. Present, sir. Shubham Jain. Present, sir. Shaket Sagar. Yes, sir. Asta Kumar. Yes, sir. Neha Raj. Sneha Raj. Sneha Raj. Aryan. Aryan. Prashant Kumar. Yes, sir. Nikitia. Yes, sir. Sayat Prakruti. Present, sir. Nikam Mondo. Yes, sir. Sayon Roy. Present, sir. Ajit Panwal. Yes, sir. Animesh. Ayush ki paper Ayush Chakravarti Ayush Chakravarti Sir, roll number 55. My net was not working actually. Rule number 55. Yes, sir. Are you Sakruti? Are you there? Are you Sakruti?
okay after completion of your circuit please share your status in chat box and let me know also शांकायन चौधरी है सर है सर तुम आज क्या तो लेट क्या ना सर हमारे इंटरनेट चलो ना शौकाले वाले प्रचंड ब्रिस्टी होते हैं देखे सभी मत तो ये लोग अकुन मने को वन स्टेबल आते हैं ठीक है जाते के लास्ट लेप तय में अलग कर लाम देखो सर किड गुले कोटे पड़ोगी ना हाँ हाँ सर कोटा जाओ थैंक यू सर तो हम रोल नंबर को तो टीम प्रॉब्लम लेंगे तो ना माइक टाव कास्टर में सर बोल दो अच्छे बीच में आयुष चक्रवर्ती हाँ हमारे लेट हो चुके हैं मैं आमदे सोकल छोटा सा देखा नहीं नेट मैंने लोशनिंग हुए हैं ऐसे अभी हमारे तो आईपीएस का ना कोड आपने मैंने एक्टिंग क्लासेस ढूंढ लाम ठीक है जी देखो सर किन कुल कोट तो 
Neeraj, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you installed the uh, simulator? Yes, sir. Okay, from the manual, you will get the idea that how to use that simulator. Okay. Should I uh, give you a short this demonstration about the simulator? Hmm. Okay, look here in this simulator. Uh, in the right hand side, you will get several components in several component drawer. Now, these components are basic gates. Then input output. So if I try to make a, a very simple circuit, say OR gate and the OR AND gate, so I need to input. So here the input are taken as a bit switch. And the output are shown in the display. And here, this AND gate and OR gate are two inputs, so you have to take two bit switch. Now you do the connection using connection tool. Now if you do simulation, you will get here the simulator button or, or it will 1 or and it will 0. So let me just uh, very fast show you different uh, circuit which we have done from day one wonder onwards so this one is a simple circuit here the inputs are taken their two bit switch and one clock pulse although this is a combination circuit clock pulse is not required but to, check, uh, to give different input after one second, after each and every second, we take a clock pulse. Now, when you need to run the clock pulse, you select that clock and you start clock. Then here you see that when the clock is zero, then AND is zero when clock is one both are one you get the circuits now yes sir. 
now you you need you need to stop the clock selection should be on clock and you stop the clock okay. now after that we have done this one is not the complete one a arithmetic register so here we have used the arithmetic tip register you have two selection line and four input and a clock and the output are given in the so here whenever you use a module the upper terminals are input and the lower terminals are in any particular chip means any particular module you are going to use from this starting from this adder category means in adder the half adder full adder then sequential circuit different flip flop in every case the upper terminals are input and the lower terminals are output and if you click on that chip and open the pin configuration here this button is for pin configuration you can see the pin controller. Now let me show you a sequential circuit. Then you will do your job. So here, say there is T flip flop using D flip flop. So this is a T flip flop using. Uh, JK master slip JK. So here we have done the implementation using gate level component. Means we have take in the sequential circuit component drawer, you will have all the flip flop and This say for example T flip flop. Now T flip flop have there is two option. One is T flip flop. This chip. Another T flip flop that is preset and clear. Now this preset and clear is used for uh, handling the initialization problem. So if you check the pin configuration. It will be like this that in T flip flop without preset and clear, there is no preset and clear. Uh, terminal is responsible for preset and clear. But here in T flip flop with preset and clear, there is pin number six and seven is used for preset and clear. So instead of using this chip, we have done it in the gate level that T flip flop using JK. then preset clear with jk here one thing we have used only two input and gate you can use uh, three input and gate then circuit will be much more simpler and here this flip flop are used to make the memory unit so basic memory unit is register so here the four bit uh, serial parallel register means serial input parallel output we have used d flip flop chip so here serial input is given and the parallel output means here input only given to the first d flip flop but output is taken from every d flip flop so serial input parallel output now modification of uh, register is counter now here we are using a counter uh, now d flip flop can be used to build any counter any any register any counter 
instead of d you can use t but it is better to use d flip flop if there is no specification that using this this flip flop you build the register and the counter so here this one is a ring counter means pattern will uh, ring through the counter okay and here another kind of counter we have done uh, we have done that is up down counter so here this uh, in jk flip flop chip you can see that q is at 4 and q bar is at 1 so up down counter means if i start the clock you can see that q bar here q is showing the down counter means the value is decreasing 4 bit means value will be decreasing from 15 to 0 then again 15 then again 15 to 0 and here q bar 4 bit 4 jk flip flops q bar are taken in the up counter taken use as a up counter and this q bar uh, of each and every jk flip flop is used here so this counter is incrementing from 0 to 15 again after 15 it will be 0 so this one is the up down counter jk flip flop we have used instead of jk you can use t flip flop or d flip flop there is no such issue and here the master slip jk flip flop is uh, this one is the master step jk flip flop so here we have used uh, two input nand gate if i use three input nand gate uh, so then this say, we required eight gate instead of two six two input and two after that we have done ALU design this ALU design here this one is a 4 bit ALU each ALU is can perform Sneha are you there yes sir okay each ALU ha uh, can perform three opera uh, four operation you can see here the and or zor and the adder so which operation will happen that depend upon the selection bit now selection bits this circuit is not complete but here for selection bit you have to take the selection means here uh, when you are going to uh, do take the selection bit zero zero then and operation of each alu module will happen when 0 1 then or operation of each alu model when 1 0 then zor operation of each alu model and when 1 1 then addition operation now here 4 bit addition you can do using this particular 4 bit alu means in case of 4 bit addition uh, you give value of a uh, that is a0 a2 a1 a2 a3 in each and every input of the alu and the b0 b1 b2 b3 say for example a value is 5 b value is 3 then at the output you are going to get 8 so you can use this uh, in the previous up down counter you have seen that digital display can be used so you can use digital display and connect all the uh, output means connect all the uh, sum sum value with this digital display from each and every alu you will get us uh, means digital means you will get a, a particular decimal number 
here uh, which will going to show you that uh, what is the current sum value and here this last this uh, right hand side bottom uh, alu is the uh, last alu which give us the c out so here the c out will be zero up to as it is 4 bit alu so c out will be zero up to 15 after 15 in 16 c out will be one and all these bits will be zero means some value will be zero then 17 c out will be one some value will be one 18 c out will be one some value will be two so here as it is 4 bit alu so maximum in input you can take 4 b 4 1 in case of a and 4 1 in case of b that means 15 plus 15 so the output will be uh, carry b it will be 1 and sum will be 14 in case of 30 15 plus 15 30 so 30 will be represented by carry will be 1 and sum will be 14 that means this first ALU's output will be 0 and other ALU's output will be 1 and this C out of last ALU will be also 1. And another thing here we haven't take the uh, first ALU will have a C in. C in means that have a carry input. Now first ALU so that carry input will be 0 in other seen the previous values c out is taken as a seen for other a so here it is a repeal carry means from the lsb L, um, bit position the carry is propagating from towards msb bit position then we have done uh, ram design this one is a RAM, this uh, RAM have four uh, means two address line here these two are address line we have used a decoder so decoder here this is two is to four decoder means two address line that means you can uh, select uh, means there will be of four address you can work upon so here when zero zero then d0 will work means this first word will work means first row this ram is a four into three ram means four word means four row and each word have how many bits three bits here you see that inputs are three bit output are also three bit so here the word size is three bit and how many words are there four words are there and here this bit you can see that here the input is 0, 0, 1. So I change it 1, 0, 1. And say I want to store it in this second row. Means word uh, z 1. Word 0 is the first row. Word 1 is the second row. So I make this uh, address line 0, 1. And this particular bit is used for uh, read write. Means what? Uh, read write. Say you want to read or you want to write. That will be depend upon this particular word. So for write, it should be zero. I simulate it 
now the second row is storing this pattern um, input 101 in second word this second word 3 bit second word is populated with 101 now if i change the read write bit to 1 means now i am going to read now which will be read that depends upon the address line so i have write in the 01 i am going to read from 01 so if i simulate i will get the output 101 now you do the, uh, do today's assignment. Try to do the today's assignment. First you do the uh, uh, using the module means direct map cache chip that is present in the component drive in the other circuit category. Uh, 